Hi, I'm Layo Adegoke. Here's your channel's TV news updates for the 14th of May 2021. Police in Zamfara State have arrested five notorious suspects involved in banditry, kidnapping, cattle rustling and illegal possession of firearms. They were paraded by the police public relations officer in Zamfara, Sheu Mohammed, on Friday at the police headquarters in Gusau, the state capital. Among the suspects is a Nigerian citizen, Sheu Ali Kachala, a notorious gun runner who confessed to have sold no fewer than 400 rifles to different criminal gangs across the northwest region. Meanwhile, the police divisional headquarters at Bende local government area of Abia State has been set ablaze by hoodlums. While two policemen were injured, the State Commissioner for Information, John Okiyi, cautioned those behind the attacks to desist from it. In Lagos, leaders of the Ohaneze Indigbo has asked Governor Babajide Somolu to ignore the rumor that members of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipor, plotting to attack the state. The President General of the group worldwide, Professor George Obiozo, says Igbo people cannot indulge in any acts that will harm the harmonious peace with the Yoruba people, especially in Lagos. On the international scene, Israel has intensified its assault on Gaza as Palestinian militants continue to fire rockets into Israel on the fifth day of hostilities. Some 119 people have been killed in Gaza and eight have died in Israel since fighting began on Monday. And Israel's military says air and ground forces are involved in Friday's attacks. In sports, the Ministry of Youth and Sports Development has confirmed that Team Nigeria final camping phase for this year's Olympics will hold from July the 3rd to the 23rd in Kisarazu, Japan. It adds that the first phase of camping will commence on May the 15th in Abuja, Lagos, Yenagua and Port Harcourt. And Nigeria will present 80 athletes in 10 sporting events at the Olympics. And that's the news update. Don't forget to join us later for a recap. I'm Layo Adegoki. Thank you for watching.